He's playing, he's playing. <laughs> Today we're flying to Dalat from Ho Chi Minh City. Often when you fly domestic, due to the smaller size airport, we have to take a bus from the gate and walk up to the airplane by stair. One important tip is that when you book air travel flying international or domestic from Vietnam, make sure to enter your full, first, middle, and last name, otherwise you will waste about 15 to 30 minutes to fix and get ticket reissued at their counter. After a 45 minute flight, we arrive at Dalat Domestic Airport. Baggage claim area is just right down the stair after taking escalator. There are plenty of taxi counters that can arrange driver after you exit. Going from airport to downtown is about 10 to 12 dollars. Traffic is not jam packed like in Ho Chi Minh City. After a 40 minute ride, we arrive at our hotel. The next morning, we got up early to try the breakfast buffet at our hotel before a full day of activities. Breakfast open from 6 to 10, 30 a.m. on weekdays and they are closed on the weekend. It's an open space seating with a perfect view out of the lavender garden if you're sitting next to the window. I will walk around to show you what they have. Here is a breakfast station with your choice of milk cereals or oatmeal with toppings. Next is a tea station with a variety of tea flavor you can choose, and an espresso machine right after. If you like croissant and raisin pastries, this is a station you want to be at, followed by a sweet dessert from cakes and donuts, or simply just pancake and syrup if you want to keep it light. They also provide champagne to make mimosa, fresh watermelon and orange juice, or lemon iced tea, or get a fresh brew caffeine of your choice at the counter. This is my most favorite station, you make your own bánh mì. This cart has fresh bread, meat, hams, cucumber, diced carrot and daikons, and fresh cilantro. You can make any ways you want. Next table are the hams, fish sauce and variety of toppings, fresh lettuce and veggies to pair with the fried Vietnamese yellow pancake and more rice roll, shrimp, and mung beans dumplings, and of course, more fresh bread to dip with the savory meatballs called siu mai. They rotate different kind of fruits every day. The salad bar and the cold cut station are here if you want to have a light breakfast. This is where you find traditional American breakfast with crunchy deep fried bacon, sausages, hash brown, fresh eggs, just have to cook to fry any way you like. The hot noodle bar is delicious. They have spicy beef noodle or beef pho. Lastly, these are pre-made hot food like bread and butter pudding, miso soup, plain congee, boiled salted eggs and shredded dry pork, green onion or anchovy fish to eat with your kanji. Cook squash and pumpkins, braised beef with five spice, stir fried hams with onion and peppers, mix stir fried eggs noodles, fried rice, salted garlic veggie, corn, and purple yam. My first dish I tried was a hot steamed rice roll. The layer is really thin and soft. I top it with fried shallot, a small amount of fish sauce, Pour over the rice roll is a must to enhance the flavor. You can either eat it like this with a thin slice of pork hams or you can place it inside lettuce leaf, roll it up and eat it that way. On to the highlight of my breakfast with the self-made banh mi. I spread the pork liver pate evenly on both sides and pour their own signature sweet sauce on after. I place a few pieces of pork hams and their barbecue pork belly in the middle. Add a sliced pickled carrots, cucumber and cilantro. The fresh soft crunchy bread combined with the sweet savory protein along with the pork liver was so good. I actually had at least two of this every morning at breakfast. My morning breakfast must include sunny sized eggs no matter what I eat. The hash brown was so crunchy and sweet. This is Vietnamese crabs called banh xeo. It's very crunchy. There's usually mung beans and bean sprout and shrimp and pork belly inside. It's yellow because of the turmeric powder that was mixed in the flowers. You eat this with sweet fish sauce and veggie. This is spicy beef noodle called bún bò. The sweet broth was cooked by either pork or beef bones. The thick rounded noodles and thin sliced brisket were soft, mixed with diced mullein glory and bean sprout to give it a crunch. 
is a two out of five star spice, and the bowl size was just perfect. Moving on to the sweet pastry of raisin buns and almond croissant. And my daily size of fruit consists of melon and guava, dip with salt and hot peppers to finish up my morning. I love the weather in Dalat. It was about 75 degrees in daytime in January. Not humid at all, feel like springtime in the state. We hire a private taxi driver which costs about 1 million BND is about $41 for the whole day. He will pick us up and drop us off at any destination and wait around for us and take us back home at the end of the day. We arrive at Mongoland. It is a farm and coffee attraction with beautiful trees and flowers surrounded by mountains and hills. The Mongolian tents will be the highlight and the animals here are very lovely, extremely cooperative. Visitor will have a great time here. Ticket to go in is $5 for adults, $3 for kids and the drinks are included. You get to pick any type of drinks they offer. We chose Vietnamese coffee, peach iced tea and a bottle of water. Right after the entrance, you will see people sit on these carts to slide down the slope. We didn't try because you had to pull the cart and walk back up the hill. Keep in mind that all activities here are free with no additional charge except renting Mongolian traditional outfit to take picture around the beautiful Mongolian tents. This section is where you can find rabbits. Some are in their cute little house resting and some are hopping around. They're not shy at all. There are about hundreds of bunnies around. At the front gate, a worker will hand you rabbit food or carrots to feed these furry cuties. You can pet them, hold them as much as you want. Just be careful not to step on them. And be sure to take a lot of pictures. There are many sheep lambs and their babies around the farm. They just lay there as you walk by. Most are just hiding in shaded areas just to be away from the sun. These little guys will eat anything. You can sit at the same table as them, but don't put any food or drinks on the table. They will try to eat it. If you're an animal lover, this place is for you. As these animals are not shy, they're just looking for food. Best of all, they don't bite. Here's the place where they keep all the dogs. There are around 30 of them with different breeds, small in size, very friendly, and does not bark at you. They're just so adorable. This camel, huge. It's really cute to see these animals playing and interact with their workers all day long. Beautiful Mongolian tents and flags are everywhere as you step further into Mongoland. It gives you a feeling as you're in the middle of Mongolia. Don't be shy and make sure to take a lot of picture around as many different sculpture and scenery around you. Take in the deep breath of fresh air and enjoy the view of mountains from far away is so relaxing.
This is Cody Mo's favorite place, the home of guinea pigs. The inner greenhouse, I must say there are probably more than 200 guinea pigs here. Some are sleeping and some chase after you. You can grab some carrots at the entrance and feed these adorable guys. They come in pack as you hover carrots above to see them fight for it. You really have to watch out where you're stepping as these furry cuties are so small and everywhere underneath. We spent a good amount of time in this place, we had a great time here. This is one spot you would fall in love with. This is the main activity you would not want to miss here at Mongoland. The line is not too long. I suggest you go on a weekday. I heard the weekend will be much more crowded. Rainbow Slide is the most popular as you sit on these giant soft air tube and slide down the giant hill. You can go in group depending on the size. It could be 3 or 5 or 7 together at once. If you would like some footage of you sliding down, just simply ask one of the workers to film for you as they sit on the side to film the whole ride. Giving a tip before or after would be much appreciated as these guys work in the sun all day long. There's a shuttle waiting at the end of the hill to give you a free lift back up. It was extremely fun, we actually went on it twice. Hours after fun activities, we're heading home. Not too far from Mongoland on the way back, we stopped by a local restaurant on the side of the street for a late lunch. It's empty inside because it's between lunch and dinner hours. These small vendors on small table, plastic chairs, and small kitchen are often quite good and cheaper versus fancy restaurant with nice table and air conditioning. We ordered two beef meat ball pho and one bowl of macaroni meat soup. The size is decent with lots of meat and noodles. Either pho or any type of food noodles bowl you find in Vietnam will have a sweet and savory soup base that will always hit the spot, especially after some fun time at Mongoland. How is it going? Good. You know it's good when there's nothing left in the bowl. Best of all, for three of us, it was 150,000 VND equal to 6 USD. Thank you for watching and we will see you on the next video of our Vietnam adventure.